we have a very limited time, 1,000 days. What should we do in 1,000 days? First of all, we should accelerate during forthcoming 1,000 days. And <clears throat> we have bridged the gap, closed the gap. Practically speaking, frankly, uh, we may not be able to meet all the targets. The scorecards are good uh, in some countries, but in some countries, still very much uneven. And therefore, we have to be very practical. And that is why I have already initiated, together with the member states, to think beyond 2015, what we call post-2015 development agenda. This is uh, going to be a sustainable uh, development uh, goals. The member states have already agreed. Then in terms of uh, social area, economic area, or environmental area, all these uh, three dimensions uh, must be addressed comprehensively in a sustainable way. And this is our vision. Without uh, educating properly, good education, then how can we ensure that uh, we will have uh, educated, skilled the person, human resources. All these natural resources or technology they cannot be developed uh, without uh, educated and talented and skilled uh, persons. Therefore, I believe that the education can be a foundation of uh, everything on the basis of which we, we can promote. Another important area, energy. Energy. Can you imagine that without electricity or other sources of energy, can we address all these issues? Food, food security. Can you have a good agriculture or agricultural production? Can we promote this all nutrition? Or how can you cure and treat the patients, sick people in the hospital or or uh, medical, medical facilities, all these uh, transportation, or all these urbanization, water issues, you cannot do anything. So I believe that energy and education, they can be called golden threat. All these issues are interconnected.